hello welcome to the start of another reading vlog it's the morning of tuesday august 27th august is almost over it's crazy so i'm just getting ready for work but i wanted to unbox some stuff okay so right now i'm reading some retrieve for an audio for the live show on friday and i'm currently about halfway through at page 220 or chapter 20 and i'm just loving it so much on my reread this is one of my favorite books and i just i'm so happy that i get to re-experience it because honestly it's amazing i love everything about it but for my unboxing i have these two bts stickers that i got in glossy but i got some other regular ones from redbubble that i'm gonna un unbox here or un envelope it's not really in a box Oh, I have so many stickers and I'm so excited to book journal with them. <gasps> They're so pretty. So first I got this flower one, which I love. Then I got this one, which is all of the, it's like in the style of the Love Yourself. And it's like all the little logos and stuff. Then I got this one that says Moonchild, which is RM's song. And then I got these cute little BT21 line friends. Then this is unrelated to BTS, but I got a Tamagotchi, Kuchibaji, because I love Tamagotchis and these blue flowers because they're pretty. Then I got some more Tamagotchis because I'm obsessed and this really cute book flower sticker. And I got this Stitch sticker because I love Stitch. It's just so cute. That is my red bubble order and I'm so excited to journal with these, figure out where I want to put them. And I also do want to print out like a lot of pages and glue stuff into my journal, which I've been starting to do more of. I just need to like put together what I want to print and then print it, but I haven't done that yet. <laughs> but next is a package I literally could cry, but I can't cry because I'm about to go to work and I can mess up my makeup. But it's something that I have been in search of for a while, and then a friend said that they had a copy for me. And my life was a complete, oh my god, oh my god, I'm dying. It's the Nevernight Chronicles. <laughs> oh my goodness. Good morning, it's Friday, August 3rd. 30th, which means that the Sorcery of Thorns live show is tonight, and I have been reading it on audio pretty slowly, making my way through it all week, and I'm currently on chapter 33, which is page 383, so I have about this much left, and the audiobook is just reminding me that it's my favorite book ever. Like, I love this book so much and i'm so excited to talk about it in the live show especially because i think there's some differing opinions so it could be very very spicy some uh battles going on there some interesting discussions and then i've been reading serpent and dove i'm so happy i picked this one up i flew through it last night i was so tired i'm like i don't think i'm really gonna get that much reading done i read like almost 200 pages and so um on page 208 now holy hell this book is so good it's about a witch that is basically forced into marriage with a witch hunter the witty banter is just great lou the main character is so like crass and crude and rude and she does not give a single end it is amazing i love her we just need this like crass crude you know doesn't care type girl in YA and it's perfect and then Reed is a um as Madison likes to say pious potato yeah Maddie and I are also kind of buddy reading this because we're just in like a never-ending buddy read um because she picked it up and I was like I was about to pick that up so I guess we're buddy reading now <laughs> yeah this book is pretty great so far so I'm gonna come home later and then probably finish up the Sorcery of Thorns audiobook I have maybe like two-ish hours probably a little bit less left so uh we'll maybe finish it on my commute home later i don't know we'll see and then do the live show and then just read serpent and dove and then i have a three-day weekend so i can do so much reading and booktube stuff and i'm so happy just to relax because i've been very stressed lately so relaxation is needed that's all for now see you later 
Hello, it's now later on on Friday and I just finished the live show for the Overhype Book Club. It is so fun being part of a book club that does live shows every month. I'm totally loving the experience. Everyone is lovely and we got to talk about my favorite book, Sorcery of Thorns, which is why I have my copies on display next to me. And it's just a really good time. Um, it's a different format to kind of have like your unfiltered thoughts on the books and to have other people to bounce off of is really fun because when you're doing a booktube channel like it's just you unless you like have a booktube friend in real life so i really enjoy that aspect and it's just a really good way to get to know some other people and i'm having a great time with it so far so i, I just finished the sorcery of thorns audiobook like literally right before we went live um it just so happened that the timing worked out pretty perfectly so can't complain and I haven't read any more of Serpent and Dove um, because I was at work all day from the last time that I updated and then I came home and took a nap because I was tired and because I just said on Twitter but I will say it here that I'm going to attempt a 72 hour read -a -thon. read for three days which it's not <laughs> gonna be as strict as like a toy it, it's basically just me saying that I'm gonna read all weekend but calling it a 72 hour read Maybe one of those 24 hours I will be more rigorous, but I really don't have any other plans this weekend besides bookish things. And it's a three day weekend and I've just been feeling super drained. I think I've probably mentioned this in like every clip, but I've, I kind of need time to recuperate and I want to kind of do something more creative with my weekend. And I feel like I have all these ideas that I haven't been able to execute in terms of making videos because they're just a little bit more involved and that extra day will really give me just some more time to to think about like what I want to film and like how I want to schedule things come September like I was posting twice a week for a while I don't necessarily think that's maintainable for me um just in terms of like always having fresh ideas and in terms of just like physical time um, cause it, do it does take a decent amount of effort to, you know, like film, well, pre-filming activities, like thinking up ideas and then film and then edit. And obviously it's a hobby that I have that I adore. I adore having a booktube channel. It's not something I want to give up, but I also have a full-time job and I, you know, I need to just find out like a good balance. So we'll see. Um, I might just scale back to once a week or maybe like post it two videos every other week just post two videos if i have some like extra content coming up i don't know um i mentioned this before right was this the same reading vlog it was okay i get confused like when one reading vlog ends and another begins but i have this copy of nevernight and um dark dawn is coming i have like so many books that are coming here on tuesday and i also realized so i have there will come a darkness coming on tuesday and serpent and dove is coming out on tuesday but that one's from Barnes & Noble, so it probably won't get here on Tuesday. And then I've darked on three copies. One from Waterstones. One is the U.S. edition from Amazon, which will come on the day of, which will be the one that I annotate to go along with these guys. And then I need to rearrange yourselves to, like, fit Dark Dawn and stuff. And never night now that I possess it. Oh, and then I have my Illumicrate box, which I don't know when that's coming, but I kind of want to do an unboxing video for it just because it's like a special one. Even though I, I did unboxings for a while and I, I stopped um, doing them because I stopped buying books, <laughs> book boxes. In terms of my reading for the 72 hour readathon, uh, for my readathon of the soul, my remaining TBR is Serpent and Dove, Turtles All the Way Down, and aurora rising so i only have three books left of that which is kind of kind of cool Turtles all the way down is really short i think i could get this done in an afternoon but also i do want to read some arcs that i have on net galley so specifically well met which comes out on tuesday and crown of coral and pearl which is already out but i still kind of want to you know get my review out there because it is still a new book i am going to kind of see where the weekend takes me i'm not gonna stick to any stringent rules but in the meantime i have my book of the month ya package and i'm excited for this book that i got um uh, ooh. so i got the Ten Thousand doors of january along with this book of the month bookmark that we always get this is honestly such a pretty cover and it's like a mystery fantasy type novel i don't know i really want to get to the book of the month books that i've been getting in these boxes because i i'm excited about all of them seems like it's a really good fall read because it's about january and she finds this like book about secret doors and other worlds and it just seems really cool 
and this is actually a debut novel so I'm excited I like really like this cover it's awesome and this is something I'd seen like a little bit about before but hadn't heard a lot and I kind of like sometimes getting books that I haven't heard a lot about but I'm intrigued by so I will definitely give this one a read sometime soon and now it is time to begin my reading for the evening hello so it's now like about midnight and I am starting I started I guess on my 72 hour quote unquote readathon which it's not <laughs> we'll see we'll see how that works out but i started maybe like 9 30 no 10 10 and it's like 11 yeah it's almost midnight now and i've read a big chunk i'm now on page what page is this 369 i am flying because this book is amazing i think i might just finish it tonight. I have my ASMR runes on. It just sets the perfect atmosphere and I'm just so like cozy. Curled up with a good book next to my bookshelves with tea and just like this is my preferred Friday night. I love being cozy and reading and this book is phenomenal. Like it's phenomenal. I'm absolutely flying through it. Like, I feel like I'm barely picking up my phone in between chapters. Like, I just need to know what happens next. It's so good. Like, the way that witches do magic in this is awesome. And the whole, like, witch hunter, witch thing is so good. Ugh, I love them together. And I just saw the character cards that you get with the pre-order, which I already, like, submitted my pre-order receipt. And I'm so excited. Uh, this is definitely, like also a new favorite for me i feel like i've had a lot of good books that i've read this year that are new favorites but you know the more good books the merrier so for now i'm gonna keep reading see how far i get tonight take it from there okay it's like 1 a.m now and this book is freaking amazing look at how many tabs i have there's so many i'm in love with this book it's also our overhyped book club pick for september so that means at the end of september i get to discuss it with everyone and i'm on page 457 and there's like 528 pages but i'm just i'm just so tired i'm not going to be able to keep my eyes open if i keep trying to read but since i'm making this a 24 hour no sorry 72 hour readathon when i wake up the first thing that i will do is finish this book and then determine which one i pick up next Okay, so it's Saturday night now. And this morning I finished Serpent and Dove. It didn't take me too long to finish up in the morning. Um, I just like couldn't keep reading because I was really tired last night. And so I successfully finished my first book of the weekend and look at all those tabs. I loved it. Five out of five stars. If you were looking for a book with a good slow burn, enemy lovers romance, this is for you. Also, it involves witches and witch hunters based on France. And it's really awesome the way that like religion plays into this. There's so many plot twists that you don't see coming. And it's just really well done and a fantastic, fantastic debut novel. Um, I'm definitely really excited to see. I think it's a duology, so there will be another book. And I'm really excited for it because this one, enough. Like, you know, you got to see where it goes. <laughs> then next, I finally finished language of thorns i don't know how many different videos i've talked about language of thorns but i started it in february and never finished it because it's a short story collection in the Grishaverse, and it's like fairy tales so i just would like read one here and there and then put it down and i had started it in february and then never finish it until now which is the last day in august yeah but the last story was little mermaid or like ursula is that ursula but like in the Grishaverse from the little mermaid her origin story and it was really well done Lee Bardugo has like the perfect dark writing style for fairy tales. Yeah, I, I enjoyed this one. I don't know if I'm going to rate it or not because I don't really rate novellas or short stories. I don't know, but it is such a pretty book and it's full of illustrations. Hold on, let me find one. It's like all the borders on the pages like grow throughout the story. It's really cool. Um, it's just a beautiful book and a wonderful addition to have in my Lee Bardugo shrine because <laughs> I have like all of her books at this point which reminds me of the Crooked Kingdom collector's edition is coming out this week that's very exciting so after that I took a break I went to the gym I ate dinner like 
you know, was just relaxing for a bit. I was on FaceTime with my lovely friends, Madison from Princess of Paperback, Jess from Tundra Chomes, and Soleil from Little Reader's Corner, and we were like, well, let's read, and then we played video games. Jess was reading, but they were the only ones, because they are smart with their time. The rest of us, no, no, we did not read. But I did pick up Crown of Coral and Pearl. I have an e-arc of this one, so I'm just reading it on my Kindle. And it is about this kingdom where every year they must, well not every year, but every generation, they send the most beautiful girl in their seaside village to the kingdom in order to keep up the trade and whatnot. And it's kind of like in this town, like beauty is valued above all. So Noor and Zadie are twins, but Noor has a scar on her cheek from childhood. So she like is obviously not going to be sent, but then something happens to her sister and she's to be sent in her place. And it's really interesting so far. I'm only at 11%, but because it's on my Kindle, I feel like I can breeze through it pretty quickly. So we'll see what percent I get to by the end of the night. Hopefully I can get up. It would be cool if I could get to 50% tonight and then read the other 50% tomorrow and then that will be like another book read and then from there i don't know what i would start because basically dark dawn is coming out on tuesday so i kind of want to make sure that my calendar is cleared for tuesday because from tuesday on dark dawn is taking up all of my attention hello it's sunday now and i have been reading crown of coral and pearl on my kindle I'm at 57%, I think. Oh, well, my Kindle just went blank, so that's not good. Yeah, I'm at 57%, and I'm really enjoying it so far. I like how at the beginning we get this whole, like, sea kingdom, and then when she is sent to the kingdom where she's going to marry the prince, it's, like, in a mountain, and it's such a very interesting contrast of settings. I think it's well done, and I'm really enjoying it and seeing where it goes. And now I'm gonna do like a bunch of booktube stuff it's like 5 p.m so tonight is just all about booktube which i'm excited for probably like reading and stuff and maybe bullet journaling in between filming videos so that i don't get too tired but i do want to bullet journal because it's now september 1st it's back to hogwarts day which means that it's time for a september spread so right now i'm going to be doing my August wrap up and September TBR spreads and then also will I have all of these papers are BTS things that I want to make like spreads with Oof. and I don't know how I'm gonna do that but I'm probably gonna do that like later tonight and just kind of like go back and forth between bullet journaling filming videos and reading and all that because I can just stay up late doing all that since I don't have to go to work tomorrow, which is great. I've literally filled up this bullet journal so much in the past few months. Like I've, I had a bullet journal once back in the day and I like literally filled up like five pages of it and then gave up. But I'm actually staying really consistent with this. And I just have to say, like, I think booktube plays a big part in that because everyone is getting into bullet journaling. And I just think it's like fantastic, like as a community that we can all be doing this and inspiring each other. And like, I don't know, I feel like I've seen negative people like oh why is everyone copying everyone with like liking bts and bullet journaling and blah 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 but honestly that's what happens when you're part of a community like there are trends and then it just brings your awareness to it if you're in a community where it's like, getting popular and then you are introduced to something that maybe you didn't have exposure to before that and then you end up liking it and sometimes you don't end up liking the things that are popular and that's totally fine and like it's okay to be a part of a trend if you find something that you really enjoy through booktube like that's fantastic and no one should make you feel bad for liking something that's popular so just my two cents on that <laughs> let's get to journaling also i always show off the front stickers but these are the stickers on the back and i love these as well <laughs>
Okay, hello. So I just finished my August spread and I love it so much. My wrap up spread. Ugh, I love the bottom with the black and then I just got this white gel pen put over it, but I definitely need to get like a thicker black paint pen instead of this like other pen I've been using because it's definitely not good for a lotto. My head is cut off. It's fine. But what I wanted to do now is I have all these stickers and I wanted to do like a BTS sticker spread and decorate my laptop because I have some I want to put on my laptop and some that I want to put in here. So for my laptop. Sunday now and I've had a productive night of bullet journaling and filming two videos which I'm happy about so I can hopefully get stock up on some videos for the weeks to come but I'm gonna get back to my book it's like midnight now let's see how far I can get before I fall asleep I'm currently at 64% and my Kindle says that I have an hour and 23 minutes left in the book. So that's totally doable as long as I don't get too distracted. And I'm actually really loving it so far. It's really cool, the whole like kingdom literally on the ocean. Like I didn't realize this, but it's not like an island kingdom. It's literally just like houses in the water and that's it. Like there's no land like it's just a bunch of houses on stilts connected by like docks and stuff like that which is really cool and then the mountain kingdom is literally built into a mountain so it's kind of like night and day and it's really interesting to see Nora's struggles as she goes undercover to this kingdom to take her sister's place and the stakes that are there it's all really interesting and the prince is like very cruel and cold and i don't like him sorry that's a dishwasher and so we'll see where things go. I am excited to finish this and then hopefully get a review up. And then from there, I don't know what I'll read tomorrow. Maybe I'll read some book. And then Tuesday, Dark Dawn comes out. I'm so excited. It's now Monday night and I, the 72 hour readathon kind of was a fail. It was good for the first 48 hours. And then I finished Crown of Coral and Pearl this morning and I loved it. And then I was like, you want to know what? I'm not going to read anymore. Just like chill until dark dawn tomorrow. So I just chilled. So I just wanted to do a quick little clip to close up the vlog talking about what I read this week. I read The Duchess Deal by Tessa Dare on like Tuesday. No, was it Tuesday? Tuesday or Wednesday? Like I literally just read it the entire day. 
I started on my lunch break and I finished it when I got home. I could not put it down. It was fantastic. Such a good historical romance and I definitely want to pick up the next two in the series and Tessa Dare has kind of turned me on to historical romance whereas before I wasn't reading any of that but like it was good and it was refreshing and the witty banter was great. I really enjoyed it and also the main character is like scarred on half of his face so it gave me very strong Phantom of the Opera vibes. Then I read Serpent and Dove which has to be a complete new favorite of mine. It is fantastic. If you like witchy stories, enemies to lovers, slow burn, like this is the book for you. It is so good. Like I cannot emphasize enough. I loved this. Definitely a new favorite. It was chef's kiss. Then I read, oh, I finished up Language of Thorns. I just read the last short story, which is about 100 pages, and I'm glad to finally have finished this. Lastly, I read Crown of Coral and Pearl by Mara Rutherford. This I got as an e-arc. It just came out last week, though, and I loved it. I'm tossing up if whether it's a 4.5 or a 5 star, but it was fantastic. Um, a really strong debut as well, and it was really cool. The world building was definitely a very strong suit, and we get kind of two different worlds in this kingdom, so it was really cool to see the contrast between those. Just the last thing that I wanted to do before I close out this vlog is go over my bullet journal spreads, because I did like the montage, but I didn't get to show like the final product. So firstly, this is my finished BTS sticker spread. I really love the way that this came out. It's just so cute. Then this is my August wrap up. I really love the star themes. I just think it's so fun. And then this is my September TBR. This was heavily influenced by my best friend Melissa sent me her September bullet journal spreads and I pretty much copied her. So thank you Melissa for being original so that I could copy you. And then again, this is my tracker for audio and physical, which this is a spread idea I got from Chloe at Books with Chloe. And I found these different like how-to illustrations on the fox and the hedgehog on Pinterest, which is a really great resource as well. And that's it. And then lastly, before I go, my reading plans for next week are literally just Dark Dawn for physical books because like I'm just going to take my time with that. That Those books take me a while to read. Um, just because the writing style is a little bit more dense and you know and I just like to take my time with it but like I'm gonna gobble up the story because I want to know what happens and then I think on audiobook I'm tossing up whether to start Carry On as a reread or The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern but I think I'm gonna do The Night Circus so that I can save the Carry On audiobook for when it's a little bit closer to the release of Wayward Son because once I get Wayward Sun, I'm probably going to want to just dive right into it. And if I have carry on fresh in my mind, like really fresh in my mind, it'll be really fun. All right, that's it for now. I'm going to close out this vlog. Have some fun, read some books, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.